Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our first Words 2010 tutorial, and now today I'll just be going over the very basics. Okay, so as you can see, this is the interface of Word 2010, and uh, I'll introduce some of its some of its functions. Okay, so my name is Bob. Okay, and bold it over here do italics and uh we can we can we can underline it and italics is just like slanting the word if you don't know okay and the uh, one cool thing about underlining is you can actually choose like different underlining styles so you can like dotted lines okay see now it's just cool underlining you can actually change its color too so blue, okay, so it's cool. And uh and this is just its uh font type and there's thousands and thousands of them. Actually maybe like hundreds of them. Okay, but anyways, okay. But there's a lot of them. But I I just stick with collaborate unless you have like any other special uses. It's just uh uh the font size and it's just basically increasing the font size and decreasing the font size okay and this button right over here it's a strike through so you can like you can just strike that that what you, whatever you highlighted strike it through and it's pretty cool and this 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 uh this button over here it's a highlighting color so like it provides a cool highlighting color had it yellow or whatever and over here it's text effect and there are like there's a lot of them to choose from a glow reflection shadow outline and you can fool around with them I won't be going over all of them because it's just gonna bore you guys to death okay okay but I will show you some okay I like glow it's just I like to to yeah to glow and wait no I gotta take this out first. This glow makes a glow glow uh, uh yeah red and you can actually format all of those if you if you're not happy with the the default so glow options format all of these. And same with reflection, shadow, outline, and 3D. If you're not happy with the default, Word gives you a lot of leeway to to format them. And uh, this is basically text text color, nothing really fancy. And over here, over here it's phonetic guide. I don't really use it, but just in case. And over here, it's character border. Ah. So you like put a box around whatever, whatever you highlight. And this one is a uh, Asian character, according to what it says. Asian characters. Wait, no, never mind. It's enclosed characters. Try. Okay, so what really sucks? Uh, so you can enclose characters in these shapes, but what sucks is uh, you can only enclose two two letters so yeah that's kind of that's kind of that kind of sucks and this is just i don't know this is just shading same thing as highlighting i don't know why they make two icons but anyways and this is just erase everything so all these format you're like nah i don't like it so erase all of them and um and oh this one oh yeah this one it's really important okay say you want to do like x square uh, I'll make it bigger so say you want to do x square but unfortunately it's two and it's just not square so what you do is highlight the two highlight the two and you click this one subscript and then you click this and it becomes x square and you want to do Oh, type next you unclick this so x square uh, plus plus 2x plus 1 equals uh, x plus uh, x plus 
minus 1 square again you highlight this and you put it uh, you you click this this icon right here and this one is if you want put it as a footnote so like this and you gotta highlight it and uh, so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you next time